Hey guys, so in today's video I thought I'll share with you guys how to screen screens in Uma Fusion. Now they did bring out an update, I don't know when it was, it's been a while um, since they brought out the update, but it just improved how Luma Fusion handled green screens and just makes it more adjustable and just more accurate. So I have a video already up on how to use green screens in Luma Fusion, but that was the previous before like the update came out, so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to handle it and how to make sure your green screens looks the best that it can. So let's actually go into my fusion and then I'll show you guys how to use the green screen. Okay, so I just turned my phone landscape just so you can clearly see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna quickly import a green screen, but first I wanna just um, tell you guys, I this video that I, this project that I have here is from a video that I did on how to get your screen recording inside an iPhone so that it looks like this. Um, so if you want to know how to do that, I have a video on that. I'll have it in the eye top for you guys. Um, the last part of that video is actually mainly focused on how to do it in Luma Fusion. So you can just go, you'll see it has two categories, paid and then free. This is the paid one. So um, you can just go ahead into that video. And I have some tips also for Luma Fusion. If you want to check that out, I think it'll help you guys. So again, that's in the eye up top for you guys to go check out. Um, but what I wanted to now do is import quickly a green screen and then I'll get to like how to actually use it. So this is the green screen I'm gonna go with. Um, it's just this plain green screen here. Um, and also what I wanted to say is, if you're not sure where to get your green screens, this we got off of Canva. They have some cool animations and then you just use a green background. Or you can just get some off of YouTube if you wanna um, do that. But there are so many green screens or from websites that sell green screens. There are so many great green screens out there. But um, this is just one we got off of Canva. We have the paid version, but there are some cool free options as well. So now what you're going to do is you're going to double tap on your green screen. So it get, goes into the clip editor and you're going to go to se this section here, just color and effects. And you're going to go to this area here, which looks like a um, lock or key hole. Um, and then you're going to go to green screen key. So then it's just going to, you know, do its thing. But depending on the color of your green screen, like the type of green you have and whatnot, um, the quality might differ and it might look really stupid the way it removed the green. That's where all these cool little toggles come in, just so you can make sure it looks the best that you want to. My big advice also is using the color picker tool and then just selecting your type of green just to make sure it gets the right green. So use the color picker tool first, I believe that's my main thing, and then go ahead and try to use these. Don't go too overboard, otherwise you might not like the results. So just do little by little adjustments until you find something that you like. First, I'm gonna start off by adjusting the year range and see like what it does, if it makes any difference or not to the quality. If it not, I'm just gonna keep it as it was. Saturation, brightness, Erosion distance here you can see there is a difference now all of a sudden But I feel like the way it was was still the best Edge radius here. You can see another thing if you want to soften it um, I don't know in which case you might want to do this here is like the most harshest line. It's not blurred at all This is what it was. So if you wanted to have more sharper line you can do that and spill suppression it's really hard to see, but there is a difference in using that. And um, also another cool thing about Luma Fusion with green screens, which I know iMovie on your phone does not have, is just the ability to move it around. You can move it, you can rotate it a bit if you want to, which I really, really appreciate of Luma Fusion is that you can at least move your green screens. So. You can do anything like that. I'm gonna quickly bring in another green screen with a different type of green as the background. Okay, so as you can see, these two greens look completely different. Um, if you just look here, 
Um, this one is way lighter, so let's see how it handles this green. Again, we're just gonna do the same, go to color effects here and then green screen key. And this one has a few more things to it. So for instance, here you can see there's still a bit of green spilling out there. Let's see if we can bank that better. First off, I wanna go ahead and use the color picker tool, make sure it selects all the right green. I don't even know if that's necessary, but it just makes me feel better that I did that. Um, now let's go ahead and adjust all the other things. See, that already made a big difference, the erosion distance. I think it also plays a big part as to what is in your green screen. So for instance, this one had that kind of like a blur to make it stand out a bit more. Um, so yeah, but the sad thing is it did remove the, the white outline at the bottom. So let's see if we can make some other adjustments just to make that better. When adjusting the hue range, it also got rid of some of that green that was spilling over, but not too much, otherwise it's gonna remove part of the green screen as you can see there. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So that this is a good example of like a very complicated green screen that can have some issues. Um, still, Luma Fusion, I feel like can still be better with green screens, but this update was a huge improvement as to pre how it previously was. So I really appreciate this update still. So yeah, that is how you use green screens in LumaFusion. It's really easy. I just thought I'd share with you guys if you didn't know about the update and whatnot and are interested in using LumaFusion because it's a great app, even though you have to pay for it. It's still an amazing app. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of LumaFusion, if you use LumaFusion and if it's your favorite mobile editor because it is mine. Um, and also definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other YouTube tips and tricks videos so that's other tutorials and things like this. And click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!